Welcome back to the channel, you guys. Hope you're all doing very well today. As you can see, we've got, well, a pretty interesting guitar to share with you guys in the studio today. And beyond just its interesting construction, the shape, the sound hole, uh, there's a couple other hidden features that make this guitar pretty interesting. So let's jump in and check it out. Yes, welcome back to the channel, you guys. As I mentioned, we've got something very cool to share with you this week. I mean, just look at the top of this guitar. Absolutely incredible. Looks so cool. I'm a huge fan of carbon fiber, but the downside of carbon fiber guitars is, well, they've always been horribly expensive. There's huge advantages to using carbon fiber, especially in acoustic guitars, but the price tag has always been up here. And when you look at this guitar and you look at the top, you look at the shape of it, the sound hole, it all looks very expensive and high-end, but this is actually the most affordable full-size carbon fiber guitar I've ever played, with the base model coming in well under $1,000. That's pretty much unheard of in today's market. So what we're gonna do is find out what the heck this thing is, what it sounds like, what the hidden features are on it, and kind of get into the whole thing. So here we go, let's dive in. So what exactly is this guitar? Well, it's from a company called Enya. Now these guys make everything from entry-level ukuleles all the way up to very expensive wooden guitars and everything in between, including this model. So this is the EAX4 Pro. EA standing for Acoustic Electric. We'll talk about that in a second because there's some great features on there, especially for the price point. But of course, the showstopper is that carbon fiber top. Very cool, very reflective, but yeah, it looks looks excellent and of course the offset sound hole so when you kind of tilt it back into your body to play you do get some nice projection here including some you know big bass coming out of here um, that would kind of go maybe more unnoticed if it was a central uh, sound hole so yeah interesting design for sure now i'll link to it in the video description below for all the specs but here are the highlights now in terms of the tuning machines we've got gold hardware looks really nice they look sort of like a goto clone to me um they're just kind of branded Anya professional tuners. They do feel good and they do work really well as well. So that's great. Um, we've got a tusk nut. That's always great to see, you know, a nice professional nut there. And we've got the tusk saddle as well. So on both ends of the string, you've got some tusk. Uh, carbon fiber top. Now on the back and the sides, you can see it's completely different. It's more of a matte material. Nice rounding, I gotta say here too, it's very comfortable on the body. Um, so this is like what they call like a carbon fiber composite. So it basically feels like plastic on the back. Um, so it's some sort of, I don't know if it's a proprietary resin kind of thing, but the top is like the, the actual carbon fiber weave and everything else is sort of like, yeah, that matte look as well. So I should mention there's not a stitch of wood on this guitar, which means should you take it, you know, out into the winter, into your vehicle or wherever, you don't have to worry about that big temperature swing from your you know, warm and relatively humid house into that dry, cold air or vice versa. You know, if you wanna take it somewhere hot and humid and then to a cold climate or whatever. So that's the huge advantage. Doesn't matter the temperature swings, the humidity swings. Uh, guitars like this handle it all in stride and you're never gonna to have to change the action. So once you have it set up just the way you like it, well, you should never have to tweak it. Well, now it's time to find out what the heck this thing sounds like. Now, every acoustic guitar has its own unique voice depending on the body shape, the body thickness, whether it's a cedar top, whether it's a spruce top, or whether it's a carbon fiber top. So before we do that, we need to quickly look at the preamp because as I mentioned, there's a nice hidden feature in here, especially for the price point, you know, disregarding the fact that, you know, this is a carbon fiber instrument. Well, we've got onboard effects. So pressing down on the volume control, you can see it lights up there and we've got our traditional tone control, traditional, you know, volume control. That's all you know, usual stuff, but we've got a built-in mic that we can blend in. We also have chorus and delay, you know, two types of verb, it's all there. And not only does it come out, you know, here, and you know, you can plug that into an acoustic amp or into a DI box and into your PA system or whatever, but there's a built-in actuator, which means all the effects, should you choose, will come right out of the guitar and you don't have to plug it into an amp, an effects unit, anything. It all comes out of the actuator inside the guitar and out the sound hole. Now I've used guitars like this in the past 
and I love it. It's I absolutely use that every time I play this guitar. So it's great. It's got a USB charger right there as well. So yeah. I don't know if you guys can hear that. I'll face my mic, but I've got some verb and delay coming straight out of the guitar, which is going to be super fun to play with. So we're going to experiment with that. And of course, if you don't want to use it, you can just hold that power button down or the volume button down and it will power off. So that's how that works. Um, so we're going to experiment with just like the pure tone of the guitar because we do want to see what it's going to sound like. We're just going to mic it up um, with a single mic keep it simple and then we're going to dial in some chorus and some of the verbs and just see what that sounds like and as i mentioned um, for a guitar in this price range to have the carbon fiber um, yeah and then to have this kind of preamp in it is pretty incredible so anyway let's uh yeah get the mic going here set everything up and listen to some tones all right you guys let's find out what the x4 pro sounds like i should remind you i'm not plugged into anything at all i have my mic right here, the OC18 from Austrian Audio, and everything you're hearing is coming directly from the sound hole to the mic, and that's it. All the effects, everything is coming directly from inside the guitar. So I do have the preamp on, as you can see there. Uh, so we've got some delay and some verb, and let's just play an E minor 9 uh, so you guys can sort of hear what that sounds like. So yeah, that, you know, verb really does give, you know, a nice spacious tone, of course, with that delay as well. Just great to have that on board. Now I'll turn that off and just sort of play something similar. So that's kind of like the pure tone of the guitar itself. Let's put the effects back in. There it goes. So really great. And of course, if you don't want the delay, I'll just take it right out and all we'll have is the verb. Let's try adding a little bit of chorus here. So I'll dial that in and uh, you know what, let's leave a little bit of that verb on as well. So here are my final thoughts on the EAX4 Pro. So we'll go through a few things I like about this guitar, uh, some things I didn't like about it, uh, the overall sound, the overall construction, all of those things right here. So here we go. Now, in terms of the overall design of this instrument, I think people who are interested in carbon fiber guitars are probably not traditionalists. Um, and so, you know, for me, looking at the design of this guitar, uh, the top, the offset hole, the cutaway, um, the headstock shape, everything. I think this is a really beautiful design. I think it's really awesome. And, and for somebody, you know, who maybe, you know, doesn't have a carbon fiber guitar and doesn't want to spend like two to $3,000, um, this is to me a really beautiful design and the price point is very attractive. Now, 
where did they save the money? Because, you know, to offer a guitar at this price, um, where did they make concessions? And it's on the back and sides. So the top gets that full weave carbon fiber um, and then the back sides, nicely rounded, feels very good. Um, yeah, so no carbon fiber weave anywhere but the top. So that's kind of where they save the, uh, the money and then they use some sort of composite here. It feels very plasticky. Um, not a deal breaker, you know, by any stretch, but you need to know it does feel not like a traditional carbon fiber weave on the back. So that's where they saved the money. Uh, they gave you a really nice, gorgeous top, and then the back and sides are just like kind of molded uh, composite, I guess they would call it. So that's kind of where, yeah, the dollars were saved. Is it a deal breaker? Not to me personally, because the advantages of not, you know, having to worry about guitars cracking, especially where I live, you know, in Canada, going from a relatively moist, warm house out into a cold vehicle, uh, you know, with a guitar like this, you never even think twice, which is just, uh, it's freeing, you know, not having to baby a really expensive, nice guitar. So there you go. Um, yeah. So overall construction, very good on this guitar. Love to see, you know, the tusk nut the tusk saddle those little touches are really nice and of course the elixir string so overall construction on this instrument is very good i was actually really impressed you know no molding marks you know the corners the edges everything very very nice so construction wise really liked it um but yeah they definitely saved and it's sort of a shame not to have the carbon fiber weave everywhere but i do know it would raise the price. All right, now let's talk about the tone. Now I'm just gonna address the acoustic tone of this guitar. Once you plug it in and you've got your EQ knobs and you know, EQ on the soundboard and all that kind of stuff, you can make this guitar sound just the way you want it. So I think, you know, that's very flexible, but let's just talk about sitting down and playing with this guitar. Now, the first thing I liked about it is yeah, the built-in effects with the built-in actuator. So you can have a little verb, you can have a little delay, you can have some surprisingly lush chorus <laughs> as well. You know, just as you're playing, if you want it. I love the flexibility of that. Um, and as I mentioned, you know, guitars at this price point would maybe have it on a wooden instrument, but then you add, you know, yeah, the aspect of the carbon fiber and value's pretty good. So I love that. Um, what I didn't love is no onboard tuner. That's actually um, sort of a feature miss on a guitar in this price point. Almost all of them with a, uh, a preamp here will have a built-in tuner. So I did miss that. So I had to, you know, clip this to the headstock. Not a big deal. But like I said, on other guitars, that usually will be if you have a preamp. Um, the other thing is the knobs are very hard to see where they are. There's a tiny little black nubby on the knobs and it's nearly impossible to see like i would just have to take like a white little dot marker or something or like a silver sharpie and like mark it on the top of the knob because you cannot tell where these knobs are and that drove me bonkers with this as i'm trying to like reproduce maybe some sounds oh i really love that amount of delay with whatever um yeah so you're just gonna have to dial it in and find it so i think if they do another version you gotta have a little bit uh, better, you know, visual representation of where the knobs are at. <laughs> Uh, but in terms of the functionality, really easy to use. Um, you know, you have your volume to blend it in and you've got your little delay sweep. If you want it shorter, just go one way. If you want the, the repeats longer, just go the other way. Very easy to use. No digital menus or anything. I love that. Um, but yeah, in terms of ease of use, need some better marked knobs on that. But I get why they wanted to keep like a really clean look. But yeah, so I love the effects, having them. Um, yeah, and other than that, in terms of the acoustic tone, um, and I found this with other guitars too. It has a much more spacious and open tone when you um, have a light touch. So if you're just doing some finger style, maybe some alternate tunings, maybe you're just doing some light picking and stuff like that, arpeggios, uh, it has a really nice tone, very well balanced, lots of bass coming out of this upper sound hole as well. So that sounds really great. Um, if you want to play like pretty driving rhythm parts, like where you're really digging in and stuff like that, I found like the sounds just kind of like closed up on itself. Now that doesn't mean, of course, if you're playing on stage, that 
will have a totally different effect than you know sitting by yourself and playing. But I did notice that that mm -hmm. if you play kind of hard, all those frequencies just kind of tighten up and sound a little bit more narrow. And when you just kind of like ease up, it just kind of like opens up the guitar. So and wooden guitars are like that as well. So I did notice that about the tone, but overall quite balanced when you just go through the string. So yeah, overall pretty impressed with the tone. Um, love the features of the built-in preamp. And yeah, other than that, those are kind of the things I really liked about this guitar and a few things where I think they could improve. So if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, be sure to do so by clicking my face right here. Big thanks to the guys from Enya for sending the guitar in. I will link to it in the video description below. You can check it out there. Other than that, hope you guys have a great day. The rest of my information, tab store, t-shirt store, gear I use, uh, it'll all be down in the video description below. Have yourself a great day.